Hello, all my fans. It is the April Fool's Review, and today we're going to be reviewing Ben 10 Alien Force Protector of the Earth. Hi, April Fool's, we're going to be reviewing Bomberman. I'll probably be reviewing Ben 10 Alien Force sometime. So this is a special episode. It's the first in the line of April episodes. So the... We're gonna look at Bomberman 93 on the uh uh Turbo Graphic 16, but I have it on the Wii. Okay, you have normal game, battle game, com link, password, and load. Normal game is the story. Password is to continue where you left off. Load is to continue where you left off. What? Doesn't make any sense. You have two ways to get there. I'm guessing the Turbo Graphics had uh, a saving thing that you could down that you could buy or something. But I'm playing on a Virtual Console. And also, Battle and Calm Link are the same. I don't know what Calm Link does, but they're the same. But let's go into the battle mode. So in story mode, you go from several planets, doing eight stages and a ball or seven stages and a boss stage, several planets, and you have to kill a bunch of enemies and go to the goal. The multiplayer is much different. You can pick from five players, which is odd, because I recall the Turbo Graphics only having uh, two controller ports. I don't remember how many it has, but whatever. Let's just pick two. And here you can pick if you want how many people you want and how many comms you want. You can pick only comms or only people. So, yeah. You can pick from how many wins you want. Let's just do one. Okay, let's go to Dun- you have eight stages. You have, a uh, warehouse, and it says, uh, what's in the stage right there? Warehouse has conveyor belts. Dungeon has absolutely nothing special. Desert has warp holes. City Square has spinning gates and warp holes. This has no bomb tiles. This has warp holes and conveyor belts. This has- Spinning gates and reverse blocks. This has spinning gates. So let's go to dungeon because it's the basic one. Actually, no. Let's go to the cloud. The no tile bombs. There's no, no tile bomb blocks. No no bomb tiles. Uh, you can't place bombs on. Uh, you can. I think we we'll figure it out. Okay. So this game use the D-pad to move or control stick, whatever controller you're using. You press 2 to drop a bomb, and you have to kill your opponent. It's really simple, and it's really fun. This is this game is on pretty much every game console ever. So it's easy to find, but this is the TurboGrafx version. So yeah. One, in story mode, there's an item where you can, uh, do stuff. Okay, the fire makes your bomb have a bigger explosion, and also you can kill yourself with bomb, your own bomb, so watch out. The, okay. The fire, uh, makes the thing bigger. Uh, the single bomb one makes you allowed to put multiple bomb, or one more bomb that's on the screen. Okay, let's do Starship. Uh, Oh yeah, the triple bomb, if you have multiple bombs, you can, uh, what's the word? Uh, the kick bomb, the kick item allows you to kick bombs and move them. Except over no bomb tiles. The kick. Oh yeah, I said that. Kick is probably the best item in the game. It's really good. In case you trap yourself or something. And the skulls they can do anything bad. And if you touch them, if you touch someone else when you have one, uh, they get infected with it too, and it only lasts for a short amount of time. Uh, and once you're dead, you lose. Oh, uh, let's see what other items are there. If the triple bomb, if you get the, if you have the triple bomb, and you have multiple bomb, 
if you have multiple, if you can place multiple bombs on at the same time, or if you have multiple bombs that you can place, you can shoot them forward without having to be on that spot. Like I'll show you when I get uh, a double bomb. Uh, where is one? I need one. You need my bombs. Ugh. And fire, and all the, most of the items can be bad. I hate you. Okay, watch this. I, I, I can't do it here. Here. Like that. You can place... You can do that. Whip. Let's shit. Let's... Okay, here I have reversed controls. Whip. Uh, get. Uh, it, uh, it's hard to... So yeah, I think that's all the items. And it's really fun if you having like a party or something. And it, this game is really cheap and only 600 Wii points. It's definitely worth the money. It's a fun game. I recommend buying it. And uh, now I'll go ahead and show you the story mode. Here's how you get back to the menu. Hold the plus button or run and press minus. And you go back to the menu. Okay, let's go to load. Pick my file. See, there's a whole bunch of enemies. And some can go over blocks. Which is kind of annoying. See, that's an extra life. My life is in, my lives are in the upper right. There's only one item on the stage at a time. Or there's only one item at the stage. And if you blow up the goal, a whole bunch of monsters come out. If I can find the goal, I'll show you it. It's hidden. And once you destroy all the monsters, you can go through it and win. There's a whole bunch of enemies that each have different things that they can do. Dang it. And of course, you can still kill yourself. And some items are exclusive to story mode. Like, there's one where you can actually walk through the blocks. If that was in multiplayer, you could be, like, really cheap with that. Some enemies take two hits. Some can walk over blocks. Some are faster. All that kind of stuff. And after every so levels, you upgrade your bomb. Yeah. And something really annoying about this game is you can accidentally push left when you mean to go up, which is annoying. And also you can get stuck on a corner if you're trying to turn it fast because of the 8-way D-pad. I'm sure this game would go a lot better with a 4-way pad. Dang it, I'm so stupid. And the ones that can go over blocks are really hard to kill. So yeah, it can be really annoying sometimes. This game does have flaws, but not too many to make the game awful. It's still a really fun party game. You should definitely buy for only 600 Wii points. I'm sure in the future we'll... In the future, it will, be, it will be raised or something. Okay, that is it for the April Fools episode. I'll sign out.